So we're going to present the ball as usual because she is target trained. Yes, Tom. By the way, guys, did you know that morning geckos are parthenogenic? And that means that. And next up are the baby ball pythons. While well, colubrids in general are so awesome. Wow, you see how fast it eats? They have almost the same shed cycle, these two. Good girl. They're coming up together as usual. No matter. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode. I really hope that all of you are having an amazing day and that you're doing freaking awesome. So today we're going to do some feeding and probably some maintenance as well. So stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. So, since I'm a bit low on rats at the moment, I'm gonna feed with mainly day old chicks and mice for the smaller stuff. And there's one, uh, I think it's medium sized rat there. So yeah, let's thaw this out and let's see what we can do while, well, while, it, while it's thawing out. So, while uh, snakes' food are thawing out, how about we feed the monitor lizards and also change out their waters. Because this is what they do every single day. They mess up their waters and yeah. What doing crazy man? He seems eager, but yeah, and Rex's bowl is the worst. And yeah, she she is also, or as I said before, I think it's a he. But I'm still gonna call Rex a she. Anyway, she has also messed up her uh, um, glass. So yeah, I'm going to wipe that off as well. So that's what we're going to do while the food is thawing out. And as you guys can see, Rexy looks ready to eat. So we're going to present the ball as usual, because she is target trained. We we'll move the ball over here. And I'm gonna hide the ball. We're going to feed her some super worms. Well, you see, you see? Crazy little, yeah. She's just crazy. So we're going to do like this. She drop it. Get it? Yeah. I'm gonna try that again. So yeah, it's super warm on the menu today. Mainly super warm. I'm gonna do like this. I'm going to hide the ball and then present the food. Don't know if you guys saw that, but I can't get the best angles when I'm doing this. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But again. Maybe we can get one cockroach. Because I did bring both. And then there we go. There, saw that? Yeah. Rexy is a really good eater. I have to close this because Rexy is uh, more than four feet off the ground. So I don't want Rex to jump out of the enclosure. So I have to close now. So I have to be really careful when I'm feeding Rex. But yeah. Go, and present the ball. Hide the ball and then present the food. Nope. You guys see what I mean? Even though Rexy has food in the mouth, she is still ready to, you know, grab another immediately. So I'm going to open this a little bit. No, no, no. Calm down. So I have to this. Another super one. Here we go. And then here we go. And that is why this is why I start using this tongue because it's rubber around there just so she won't damage her teeth. Because this lizard loves to eat. Yes, please. Yeah, you can give one more cockroach maybe. There we 
go. Take the ball and then hide the ball and then give give the food. Whoa! Now she almost jumped out. Cockroach got away. This got a little bit chaotic, but this is how it goes sometimes. So yeah, this that is why I need the ball because she will jump out. Here we go. The food here. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go, please. Now she has to talk. <laughs> yeah, you have to let go, honey. Yeah, you know, working with animals is not always the easiest. I don't know if you guys can see this, but she has a tongue. Yeah, now she got now she got loose. So yeah. I think I need a cameraman for this. Because the glaring no, we don't have any glare. Well, we can put something here maybe. Behind this. Yeah, a little bit better. Once again, present the ball. Hide the ball. Put out the food. Yeah. Good. Wait, I think we're gonna give one more and then it's enough. Go up here. So now Rexy is fed and still wants more, but that's it for today and this is what she does she makes a mess so I'm going to clean the glass and change the water after I've fed Tage so yeah so now it's time to feed Tage to see if he reacts to the ball today he doesn't always does that but yeah anyway give him some soup warm go buddy Food man, come on. Well, he does this sometimes. He is not the most food motivated, as I've said before. So, if he doesn't want to, you can't force him. But I'm going to put the food for him in the enclosure so he can hunt for himself later. Maybe cockroach will do it. No, not today. So, yeah, sorry for <laughs> maybe not the best feeding video with Target, but. Yeah, this is what it does sometimes. It's not right, buddy. Yeah. Now he woke up. Come on, buddy. Go. One cockroach. No. Well, that's the most action he is going to show us today, I guess. Maybe we can catch him uh, hunting for himself. Just look at this crazy man. He doesn't want food, but it looks like he wants to hang out. Come on, buddy. You guys, come on. There we go. You guys see? He is just the coolest. Aren't you, buddy? But yeah, what I was going to say is if you guys are wondering about the food bowl with the vegetables, of course, it's not for this guy. It's for the, well, this enclosure is bioactive. So it's for all the bugs that live in, lives in this enclosure. So that is why I have uh, cucumber and well, uh, there's actually fish food as well and some paprika. Uh, so yeah, that is why, and that, that's why there is a carrot in um, Rex's enclosure as well, because there's isopods in there and some springtails. So yeah, I throw in a piece of carrot once in a while so they have something else to eat than all the other stuff. So now the food for the smaller stuff is thawed out. So let's start by feeding the corn snakes. Let's see where he is. I think he's in this actually. Yeah, you can see him in the back there. So maybe we have to go from the back to give him the food. So you do like this. You guys can see this. I can try to get a good angle. I don't know if it's possible. Maybe I can throw her out a little bit. But I put food in there. And here we go. 
There it comes. Well, they are doing so much better since I moved them into the rack. They have so much more space, as you guys can see. Way bigger than before. So yeah, he got one, and then we're gonna give him another one. I'm gonna put that. Well, see, he starts eating immediately. Yeah, corn snakes are. Well, colubrids in general are so awesome. Wow, you see how fast he eats. He did shed out a couple of days ago, so he's probably hungry. So let's put that there. There we go. And then he will get that when he has finished the first one. Good angle of this. Oh, this is a money shot. Come on, focus. Can't get a better angle, sorry guys. But yeah, when he's fed, let's move on to the female. And here we have her. Let's kill her mouse immediately. She also did shed out a couple of days ago, so they have almost the same shed cycle, these two. Good girl. And yeah, I'm gonna give them two each today. Because the, these pinkies are a little bit bigger than usual, so yeah. Two would be enough. And actually their bins are, well, somewhat bi-active. I did put in some uh, isopods and springtails in their bins, so yeah. So they are doing awesome. See if we can get her camera eating. Well, well there we have it maybe. Not easy, but yeah, they're eating like crazy, these two. And Gunner, as you can see by his eyes, he is going through shed. So we are not going to feed him today. Next up, we have the juvenile ball pythons. And as you guys can see, they're cuddling up together as usual. No matter where they are in the enclosure, they are always together. So I have to remove one of them so they won't fight over the food. So here we have the GHI. Let's start with her. See, good. These two are such great eaters. They are awesome. Yeah, let's move on to sunset. Go, let's see. There we go. Good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And next up is one of the Boba Imperators. Uh, well, the bigger female is hiding and I haven't seen her in a couple of days, so I'm pretty sure she's going through shed, so we're not gonna bother feeding her anyway. So let's see if this girl wants to take this. For some reason, she doesn't want to strike. Maybe now. Hopefully she will. Here you go. Take the mouse. Maybe I'll have to do a drop feed. Yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna put it, well, I don't know, there maybe? So hopefully she will start to eat. And next up are the baby ball pythons. So let's see if we can get them to eat. Don't know where this one is, but in the hide. We'll try, and if they don't grab the food, I'll have to do an assist feed. So let's see, it's coming, come on please, please take it, please take it. Oh, did strike, but did strike and hold, come on. Leave it there. Oh, 
Oh, only defensive bites. We we'll probably have to do a drop feed on this. I mean, uh, assist feed on this one. So now the assist feeding for all the bay ball pythons are done, and as, as you can see, this baby is eating. Uh, I haven't checked the rest of them, but I'm gonna check that when I have fed um, the other snakes. So I'm gonna leave them be for a couple of minutes, and then we come back to them. There we go. And next up is Cruella. And let's see, I think we'll give her the rat today. So she is. Not hungry today? Oh. She's going for shed. Well, this means she won't eat, so... Yeah. Hopefully someone else will eat the rat. I miss that. Well, that what happens sometimes. You can't always remember who's in shed and who's not in shed, so yeah. Well, then I guess the next one is... Sasu. See if you want to check. Come on, buddy. There we go. Good boy. Uh, and I did see some poop that I have to clean when he's done eating, so yeah. But he is awesome. So let's see if Loki wants to eat. Please eat, man. Please eat, you need to eat. I did get him to strike the chicken, so hopefully he will eat it. But we better leave him be, and then we're going to do some maintenance at the morning gecko enclosure. Yeah, let's start doing some maintenance, and that means that I'm going to trim down the pothos. And while I'm doing that, I have to look out for baby morning geckos because they are quick as hell and they are escape artists. Already found a couple of them in the apartment, so yeah. See, start by that. Um, they are so tiny that, that they can even hide in the lip here. So I have to check if there's someone there now. No. And check the leaf here. No morning gecko there, no. And, uh, well, the adults are pretty quick as well. I'm going to trim down this. This dead leaf as well. I'll just put it there. And let's see if we can find the morning gecko baby. By the way, guys, did you know that morning geckos are parthenogenic? And that means that they reproduce by, well, basically they clone themselves. So in this enclosure, there's probably only females. And that means they have so much genetic material that they lay eggs and the eggs are already fertilized so f fertile i mean fertile fertilizing in, yeah that's a whole different thing but i think that's so awesome it's so cool that they they don't need a male to reproduce that is so cool but yeah anyway let's start doing this let's finish it these leaves are really going up there so So there we go guys, I think I'm pretty happy with that actually. I trimmed down quite a lot in that corner because, well, I want to see better than I do now. So yeah, I'm gonna take this away as well. Yeah, 
But yeah, believe me, the pathos will grow in again. So within a couple of months, it will probably look the same. So yeah, let's see if we can find the moon gecko baby. Probably they are all hiding now because I did disturb them quite a lot. So yeah, but this is what you have to do sometimes. And well, probably going to put this well, I can plant it in the enclosure. So we'll see what I do about the path of the pathos that are trimmed down. But yeah, for now, this is good. So I guess that's it for today's episode, guys. And I want to thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it. And if you could please do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button as well. That would mean the world to me and comment on the video. And if you are subscribed, don't, don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single episode. And while you're at it, go and check out my brother's channel as well, Tommy Serpents. I will put his details down below in the description. You're gonna love your stuff, I promise you guys. And before we end this, I want to leave you with this, guys. Take care, be kind to someone, try to show people respect. So till next time, goodbye guys, and I love you.